My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We've got a really exciting Mustang here. It's a 1968 convertible with the Eleanor package. It's got the whole thing. The side exhaust, hood, scoops, you name it. Some cool wheels, roll bar. It's got a high performance 289 overdrive automatic trans, vintage air conditioning, the list goes on and on. You can go to volocars.com and that's where you can read the information, take your time and study the pictures. And you will find a price tag on every one of our cars, including a monthly finance option as well at volocars.com. If you enjoy these videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon. You'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, it tops down. Let's go for a spin. We'll be gone in 60 seconds. So underneath the car is a lot of upgrades. The entire front end's all rebuilt. Every component you look at looks new, upgraded with a fatter sway bar, has a rack and pinion steering system. Uh, in back, it has tubular traction bars. Looks like the springs and shocks have been replaced. They are air shocks. It has the Eleanor exhaust. It's a stainless steel exhaust with stainless MagnaFlow mufflers, and it comes out the side. The fuel system's been replaced. The tank is still shiny. Sending unit looks new. They've upgraded the brake system. It has disc at all four wheels. Uh, you look up at the motor, it's still real clean. New fuel pump, new high torque starter. Uh, it's an AOD transmission. That's automatic overdrive. Ford got real creative when they named it. Um, <clears throat> custom drive shaft, Ford 9 inch rear end in the back. Uh, appears to be very solid, uh, so it's got a lot going on underneath. Now the exterior it has the fiberglass dovetail trunk lid and the end caps here, but there's no seam. They filled in the seam, so it's all one piece. It's got the molded in uh, scoops here on the side, molded in uh, fiberglass rocker panels that the exhaust comes through. Uh, it's got the Eleanor raised hood up front here. The whole front end is custom. The whole uh, fiberglass uh, front end with the scoop, no bumper. It has the fog lamps. The, I think these are PIA is the name of it, PIA uh, lights there. Custom grill. The body, though, it's really straight. Some fiberglass parts aren't the best. These look to be in really good shape. Fits really nice, nice and straight. The car is straight. I don't see any rust or damage. Now they had to bring the fenders down uh, to you know, give it that lower rocker treatment. The body is, is actually really excellent. It's the first time I'm actually up close inspecting it. And then it has this wide flare. It still barely holds that big tire. So all this is excellent. The trunk has the Shelby tail lights, Shelby gas cap. Painted back bumper. Yeah, the body is really, really nice. They did a great job adding the Eleanor package. I don't see it cracking or any issues. There's one hairline crack right here. Maybe the tire hit it at one time and cracked the paint, but the body work was done right. It's like an orange, copper, metallic color, and the metal flake is laid out real nice, and it really has a twinkle. I don't know what you're seeing, but I'm seeing a nice sparkly paint job, and it is polished. It's got a clear coat on it that's polished real nice and slick. It even feels slick to the touch. Stripe, can't feel it. <clears throat> it's got some custom wheels on here, Boss wheels. They are, well, maybe I'll find the size on one of the other ones. It's on there, I just couldn't find it. They are 18 inch boss wheels, extra wide in back. Look at the, how wide the lip is back here compared to the front one. So it's got a nice stance. It's a black convertible cloth top, a nice rich cloth top. Uh, <clears throat> it's 
Glass looks to be good, original. Windshield's been replaced. The stainless trim is good. There's light scuffs and little marks on it, but it's good. Mirrors have been replaced, door handles replaced. So now let's open it up. Let's show you what it's like inside. All right, let's see what it looks like inside the trunk. Because it is custom, they don't have the uh, spring uh, set right or the right spring to hold the trunk lid open. But under the trunk lid and the jam are painted nice, the weather strips replaced, the stripe goes right into the jam here. Uh, it's all clean metal, it's got a nice mat. Uh, there's a pole if you want to use that to hold it open. These are some parts from the console. Um, but nice clean trunk. Door jams are painted, weather strips are replaced. Door panels, uh, stock Mustang door panels and armrest. Okay, the dash pad's been replaced. It has a new set of white face gauges. Uh, there is about 4,800 miles on this car since it's been built. It does have a Pioneer stereo. Now this is cool, I've never seen this ever, ever. This is your heater controls right here. I haven't played with it, but you can set your heat, your air, all right here, because there's no levers over there. I'm like, oh my God, it's all disconnected. That is really cool. Of course, you got modern stereo. That bezel in the back, that tray fits in here. It looks like they took that out and put these two gauges in. Um, you know, that's why this material is a little loose, so you may want to do something with that. Uh, the shift indicator, that's a digital uh, low car shifter with the digital readout. You got some kick panel speakers over here, new carpet with embroidered Cobra mats, custom console with uh, cup holders and a little compartment. Uh, these seats might be leather. They have the orange piping, orange stitching. Uh, and then steering wheel, before I forget, it's a tilt column with a nice cushion grip Shelby steering wheel. Seat belts for everyone. There's six by nine speakers in back, seats upholstered to match. Got a roll bar, does not affect the top at all. Top goes up and down just fine. Uh, two extra gauges are volts and trans temperature, which have nothing to do with those gauges. <clears throat> the side glass is all tinted. You can see pictures on our website. I'm sure we have pictures with the windows up and the top up. So it's a 289 motor and it packs a, packs a punch. Uh, it's a nice cruiser. It sounds good. It's got that healthy muscle car sound. But it's got an Edelbrock intake. Looks like a dual feed heli carb with electric choke. Uh, electronic ignition system. It's got a set of headers. You know, an all upgraded heat and AC system. It's got the Monte Carlo support bar. Upgraded aluminum radiator with dual electric fans and an overflow bottle. And up here, before you go away, this is an extra transmission cooler with an electric fan. It's part of the AC, you got MSD ignition, uh, Borgeson power steering, you got power brakes, Edelbrock matched set of valve covers and air cleaner. did happen to notice there's a hairline crack right here. This is a stress crack that convertibles get. So I think earlier I said no cracks, but there is one right there. So there's going to be a couple minor imperfections. Here's my God's honest uh, feeling about this car. Eleanor's can go for a quarter million dollars. I mean, that's actually typical for really awesome Eleanor uh, cars. 
This is not at that level, but the price tag is nowhere near that. With that said, it's still a great car. That door shut real nice. I think the body work is excellent. I think they did a tasteful job with everything they did. Uh, sounds great. Overdrive, air conditioned. Um, I actually think I underpriced this car. So it's got a lot going for it. It's a great car. It's not at that quarter million dollar mark, um, but it's got a lot, lot to offer for what I'm asking. Go to volocars.com. Uh, you can talk to the salesman with your questions. They'll help get this delivered to your driveway. They'll help you finance it at volocars.com. Boy, I hope you're enjoying the videos. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on that bell icon so you'll be the first to see the next great car posted. Thanks for watching.